Hi everyone, it's Air Support from the Thor Financial Discord, and I've had a great time answering some questions this evening in the Discord uh, about liquidity pools and tokens and and that sort of stuff. And um, figured that a, a quick video, uh, kind of covering five main things, um, would probably help help out quite a bit. So um, this video is going to show you how to withdraw your liquidity pool tokens from the farm. Uh, this includes, uh, actually, because of the smart contract, an automatic claim of your rewards that will go into your wallet. I'm going to show you how to convert your liquidity pool token to AVAX and Thor, how to swap some of that Thor for, uh, for AVAX, and that'd be Thor that you got as rewards. Um, and I'm going to show you how to put that AVAX and Thor back into a liquidity pool token over on the Trader Joe website. And then I'm going to show you uh, back on the Thor Financial website how to deposit the Thor AVAX Joe liquidity pool token uh, to start farming those rewards again. All right, the first thing we need to do is uh, come over to the, um, the Thor uh, app website and select farm up here at the top. And you can see here that I've got about uh, 11 tokens, uh, liquidity pool tokens in there, some rewards, current API, uh, APY, sorry, APR. And so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to withdraw these. So I'm going to withdraw all of my tokens just for the heck of it, uh, which will also, like I said, will auto claim um, the Thor that I've been rewarded. OK, so we'll click withdraw here and uh, off screen over on my MetaMask, I have a transaction to approve. So, um, you know, use your your hardware wallet um, or or whatever you have, and um, we need to go and process this transaction. And um, I am going to pay a little bit of fees here. They're pretty small with AVAX. Um, you know, just just um, just probably 0.01 or something like that. Now I'm just going to pause the video while I approve this, and then uh, we'll come right back. All right, that transaction's uh, been approved, and uh, now we're just waiting for it to go through. And as soon as it does, uh, come back to you. All right, that transactions went through. So um, if we refresh the site now, we should see that um, we do not have anything in here anymore. Yep, down to zero. So now what we'll do is we'll come over to the Trader Joe website. You can actually click right here. Um, and it'll bring it right up for you. And what we're going to do here is um, we are inside the pool, but what we want to do is we want to um, want to break down the liquidity pool token that we have. So we actually can do that right here. Um, I'm not actually going to go through with this, but just want to show you that you can take your maximum amount of your tokens, which is what I have here. And all you got to do is um, click on remove, and it will break this down for you and, and give you the, uh, the tokens that are shown here. So for you know 11 pool tokens, I'd get about 9 Thor and 21 AVAX. Um, I actually want to go a different route. I actually want to convert um, some of my Thor that I just got as rewards uh, into um, into AVAX and add that to my liquidity pool. So if you don't have a whole lot of um, AVAX or if you um, just want to use some of your Thor to get some AVAX, uh, I've started already with about one AVAX in here, but since I just collected about 0.7, what I could do is swap about 0.3 Thor um, I'm sorry, 0.03 Thor, and get myself uh, 0.06 AVAX out of that. So what you're doing here is effectively taking your rewards that you got in the form of Thor from the farm, and you're selling half of that uh, in terms of its, its value to get yourself some AVAX. And then what you do after you complete this is you would go over to the pool and you can just type in Thor to get it to come up right now. Um, you're looking for the Thor AVAX one. And what you would do there, since you would have previously sold some of your Thor to get AVAX, you just come in now. 
I would have had you know 0.3 Thor at that point, um, and you can uh, I would have had you know 0.6 Avax, and I would just come in here and supply that into the pool. So I'll do that here. Uh, we'll pause the video pause the video again while we uh, process the transaction. But you can see here that I'm going to be adding some Thor and I'm going to be adding some AVAX um, into the liquidity pool to make a new or a, make an additional uh, Thor AVAX Joe liquidity pool token. All right, I've clicked confirm there, and, and now I just need to confirm this transaction on my hardware wallet. All right, that transaction's been confirmed. Uh, looks like it's went through. And so now we should end up with a bit more than our 11.42 tokens that we had earlier. Um, we see that numbers went up a little bit. So now we'll head back over to Thor. We'll go to farm, which is this page here. Go to deposit. And now I can choose maximum. And where I was at 11.42 before, now you can see I'm at 11.50 and, and the rest of these decimal points. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna click max because I wanna put all of these liquidity pool tokens into the farm. Click deposit here. And again, I will end up with a message in my MetaMask uh, for me to approve the transaction, uh, which I'm, I'm doing now. And then just validate everything on my hardware wallet. Looks good. And click the buttons for accept and send. And once that transaction goes through, and I will see my staked token count go up. Should be around 11.50. Oh, transaction's done. There we go. And you can see the value of my staked tokens is about there. My APY, our APR. Um, so just following through this, uh, there's a there's a few questions that I want to directly answer. Um, you know, one uh, does the liquidity pool rewards compound for for Thor? Uh, currently, as of February 2nd, they do not compound. You need to follow the process that I just walked you through. Um, you, you know, just rewind the video and, and, and go to the beginning there. Uh, I do like to, um, to just withdraw and let it uh, grab my Thor. And then I follow that same process that I showed you. Um, and I've been doing that probably about every 12 hours or so um, just, to, just to keep it compounding. Um, another question that, uh, that's been asked quite a bit is, do I need to claim before adding or withdrawing tokens um, to the liquidity pool? Um, for withdrawing, uh, again, we just did this. No, you don't, right? It's going to automatically claim these because of the smart contract. And you will see that show up in your, um, in your, your wallet. And you'll see Thor as your rewards. And then you'll see your tokens, they show up as, uh, as JLP um, for Joe Liquidity Pool. So if I were to do that again and go through it, you'd see that I had 11.50 something JLP. And, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have any um, Thor at the moment, but um, would, would show up the number there. Um, another question that, um, that we get uh, that I've seen is um, you know I've, I've withdrawn my my liquidity pool tokens and converted that back to Avax and Thor, um, but now you know it looks like I have less value than what I had before. Um, that's something that can happen with liquidity pools. It can happen in either direction that the values go, and it's called impermanent loss. Um, there's several articles out there to go and read, but um, really with liquidity pool liquidity pools, you're looking for two things. You're trying to get, uh, or you're hoping that the value stays um, stable. So you're looking for the price of Thor and the price of AVAX to stay stable. If it does, um, then you know you won't be losing any, you won't have any impermanent loss there, but you're also looking for these returns um, to, to be where you're making money. If the dollar values of these move, if they move in a negative way, um, as in both of them go down, 
you're definitely you know losing value there but you are getting a return um, here and so you're really trying to make money from the fees that are charged in the liquidity pool being that that market maker um, on the same flip side if the value of either one of these goes up or both goes up you're actually potentially also losing money there in permanent loss and um, although not as much in the other direction uh, again, you're looking for these these uh, these returns, the fees that are being charged in the in liquidity pool. You're looking for those to um, to offset that. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, come and find me on uh, on Discord. Happy to answer questions. Uh, you know, and a, and a good uh, quick shout out to uh, to Captain B. Um, I appreciate your generosity, my friend. Uh, I'm happy I could get you going. And uh, to uh, Doctilla, hope I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Uh, great suggestion making the YouTube video. Uh, again, if I make it big, uh, drinks are on me, bud. Catch you later. Thanks, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoy the video.